Hey everybody, what's up? We are here with a timeless reading. Before we get started with the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with the highest good. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a focus on there's a focus on your future. Maybe something that you're thinking a lot about ahead of time is what I'm hearing. Hmm. Ten of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. There can be something that is creating like unnecessary stress, but you may be telling yourself it's necessary. Like you could be continuing to do something where your guides are like, you're holding that too tightly. Like you may be trying to hold something together that's not supposed to be. It's not in flow. That's why it's feeling stressful. But you keep doing it anyway, potentially. Let's get further and see. Maybe something where you're like, I don't want to let it go, but it's like creating so much stress within my life. You're going to have to figure out what you want to do about this. It's not working. Not like this. But it's going to take a new perspective to see that because I'm getting like how you're seeing things, how you're thinking right now. It's not leaving room for a new perspective. So if you stay like within this frequency, framing this picture in this way, it's not something that's going to occur to you. So this is about thinking outside of that framework, outside of the box here to see from a higher perspective. Because there's definitely a pivot that's needed. One that allows you to come out on the other side feeling much more sure of yourself. Especially in handling this situation. Maybe before you were also questioning yourself too. I'm getting that it's about like reorienting your perspective seemingly about yourself towards yourself. And what you're doing and what you can do. Yeah, I'm seeing that you're meant to let something die off here. But I'm getting you like continuing to maintain this or hold on to it. Like I can't let that go. It's an attachment. This like isn't something. Well, I don't want to say that it's not real because it is real in a particular perspective, but it's like real in a worldly way. Let's say it like this, you're like a bit caught in a trap with this, but you're also the one that can liberate yourself from this. But it's something where you're like, maybe not willing to let this go, but I'm seeing a very stubborn energy. Like if you could look at this from an outside perspective, you'd look at yourself and be like, you're just making it difficult for yourself to hold on to this. So why are we doing that? But I'm getting that like with the devil, because that's what's showing up here, especially with the devil and Neptune. This speaks about like addictive cyclical things that we become involved in. Like I need that thing. I need what that thing is giving me. But it's like something outside of yourself that you're um, putting your energy into. That's like siphoning your energy actually. That because you put like your power into it, it takes your power away from you. 
but only because you're surrendering it, you're giving it up to this thing. So that's what needs to come to an end. But the thing with the devil is that it like convinces you that it's worth everything in the world. And what are you going to do without it? Because it like doesn't empower you. See, if something's within your life and it empowers you, it tells you you'll be fine without me. Like, you know what you're doing here. You don't need to, like, lean on anything outside of yourself or give your power away to anything because that power is within you. However, this situation is not an empowering situation because it's telling you, what are you going to do without me? Don't you need this thing? And that's how you're going to know that it's out of alignment. But it like does everything to convince you that like what are you going to be without this? Like your life is going to be miserable or you're not going to have any fun or where are you going to get your money from? Stuff like that. It like has a fear tactic that's associated with it. And yeah, the devil speaks about like addictions and things that we don't want to let go of, things that we like sacrifice our power for. And give it up and then it ends up chaining us and having us feel like we can't get out of the hole that we've dug ourselves in. That's how you'll know it's out of alignment. I'm seeing Capricorn and Aries here. I'm also seeing Neptune, which is associated with Pisces. This can be like very obsessive over a title or the work that you do or like a label that you're slapping on yourself. This can also be um, a connection that you have with a person too, but they can be somebody that you're like really into how powerful this person is or like a title they have or like look at all the followers that they have, something like that can be. Or it can just be somebody that's providing you with something, but you feel like you have to like make yourself smaller, compromise a part of yourself to stay in the loop with them. Stay small is the feeling. But this is actually encouraging you to step up in that way, like rather than to outsource this, it's for you to just do this yourself. Some of you too, like a situation may be ending, but you're still dealing with what's sticking to you energetically from this. Like having both the Ten of Wands here and also the Ten of Swords here, Ten speak about um, the culmination, conclusion, and ending of a cycle. Because after the Ten, um, the Ones come, and so that's going to be like the beginning of a new cycle after that. Think about the Aces. Those are the Ones. So here, having the Ten of Wands, this is like you being at your limit. Like, I don't think that I can take this anymore. This is like the moment before your knees give out um, and you drop everything because it's just become too much. It's too heavy. It's too big. It's too stressful. It's just um, too much on the plate and some of it's got to drop off. Then we have the Ten of Swords, which means something concluding. And so mentally, this can feel like a maxed out sort of energy. Then we have the four of pentacles and the devil. So this is like something that's motivating you to hold on to it, but it's making you just sink faster. But it's telling you that it's actually going to be the thing to save you, but it's not because it's something outside of you. But the thing with the devil is that it like does a really good job convincing us that we need it and that we're like nothing without it. Or that we won't be able to like enjoy life without it or have the things that we want or we need without it, you know, stuff like that. But to have the hanged man here, this is telling us to shift our perspective and it's actually encouraging us to release something, to surrender it, to give it up. Like that old narrative has to die to the new one that wants to be born through an expanded perspective, understanding and enlightenment of what's going on, especially the energetic inner workings of what's happening behind the scenes. And it's, I get this vibe of like your guides being like, it's time to shape up for sure. 
Because to have the hanged man and then to have the emperor below it, this is telling you to step up in that way to like become more disciplined with what it is that you're doing and what it is that you have going on not outsourcing your energy in the way that you have been because it may be something that's like stopping you from fully embracing your power and stepping into your potential and it can be like excuses that you're making the thing is that i feel like you're at a very advanced spot right now and maybe this is like the average behavior that you're seeing around you where you're like it's okay but it's like kind of complacent of you and when you look at that you recognize it and so this is like cutting out whatever is getting in the way of this because the devil can also be like a fix or something that we have that is like distracting us from fully embracing our power fully But it's something that we hold on to because we're like convincing ourselves that we need it, but we actually don't. And it actually, again, is like taking our power away. We give it to that. So I'm seeing your guides be like, if you want to get out of the out from underneath this, you're going to have to step it up and get more disciplined with what you're doing. I get this vibe of like needing to stop messing around with whatever this is. But you could be like, but I need, I like, I need this to work or like, I need this to fund my life or like, how am I going to parent my kids without that? Or, you know, just stuff that you, you like convince yourself that you need it because you convince yourself it makes your life easier or better, but then you just give your power away to it. And it's something that you would look at and be like, Honestly, this isn't the healthiest cycle or pattern or activity for me to participate in. However, like it makes me feel better because you may not be doing the work. The thing with the devil is too that if you're in a spot where you don't want to do the work, you can lean on it and have it kind of be a band-aid because you're bypassing through the use of whatever the devil is. But then it ends up chaining you up. But it may be something that, like having the four of pentacles and the devil is like you really don't want to give it up. Like, I'll hold on to this through anything. I can't let go of it. It can be a narrative. It can be a perspective. So many different things that this can be. But to have the hanged man, it says surrender it. Surrender it to a higher knowing that's already there just waiting for you to like reach up and integrate it and it has to do with you and your potential and what you're doing and I'm also hearing your prosperity this can like the devil can also be like doing things and being like lazy and like just getting by as well you would see it as like you would look at it and be like maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow and then you're like it's you're in your dying days and you're like wow I should have just made that extra effort because I really could have like stepped into something that would have felt much more meaningful to me but I was just like really scraping by doing this but I do get the sense that this is definitely going to take a sense of like discipline and consistency in order for you to do and I'm getting that part of the reason why you may not step into this energy or why you haven't yet is because you may not feel super confident about like your abilities or what you can do or your capabilities or like could I really play that role could I really step into it so you may again be like outsourcing your energy because you're like not feeling empowered but it's because of this thing that you're not feeling empowered so I'm seeing your guides be like you have to cut this thing out then you have to step up and apply yourself and then you're going to see you play that role quite perfectly actually Like, I'm seeing something that's very much suited for you, but because you have this thing over here that you keep, like, leaking your energy into, it's not going towards this other thing that you would actually feel, like, really good about playing this role and also feel like it's deep, more deeply connected with your purpose as well rather than just skimming the surface as you have been. 
this too though like your guides are going to support you either way and if you want to like embrace whatever the devil is and just be doing things in that way there's nothing wrong with that it's all just what you want to experience this particular advice I'm getting is for those of you that you're in a spot where you're like I feel like I'm not at my full potential I want to be um, there's a position that maybe I don't think that I'm good enough for, maybe I don't feel super confident in my skills or my abilities or to be able to attract what I want within this or like make it appear within my life, but I would really like to. So like, how do I do that? And this is what I'm seeing your guides be like, this is how you do that. But this thing that you've been doing, it need that you've been like also holding on to and being like, I'll let go of everything except this one thing. And it's like the worst vice ever that you like will not let go of but it's actually really um it's really getting in the way of certain things for you like it, I'm seeing it's become a blockage for you at this point and it has to do with an attachment that you have to this because that's ultimately what the devil is it's the attachment to something outside of ourselves and four of pentacles is like white knuckling this thing I don't want to let it go but again having Neptune here it's saying surrender it because there's a perspective to be gained and a position that you'll be stepping into if you do that's going to feel much more meaningful for you that has to do with like your legacy and what you're creating here on earth for some of you this also has to do this has to do with like a job or a position that you'd step into and it can have to do with your resources as well The thing that may be messing with you is that you know it's going to take time and investing into this and you may be in a spot where you're like, I want immediacy, I want instant gratification and that's what this does. But that's why the emperor is being encouraged because it says discipline and consistency and with that you're going to be like seeing yourself that you can be in this position as well. It's not just for other people, it's for you too. And you would like admire yourself for doing that thing. It's something within you that's like, hey, I want to work hard and really see this thing come to fruition. But then there's this other part of you that's like, yeah, but will you even be able to do that? Like, maybe we should just like mess around instead. Because like, what if it doesn't work? What if you fail? And then that's just reinforced here. So you may think like the alternative of failing is potentially worse, but... I'm getting that you won't even fail if you do this. I'm seeing the outlooks be like you were made to step into this position if you choose to. If you choose to. But I'm seeing it, it's really gonna... There's like a big sacrifice. Well, your ego would feel like this is a big sacrifice. Your higher self feels like you're making that sacrifice already by not stepping into this. But yeah, your ego may have like a hard time letting go of whatever this is for you. And it can be something very, like, very, very different for each of you, whatever the devil represents in your scenario. But it's, it's an attachment that's holding you back that you feel again, like it's kind of making you sink faster, but you're like, I still just want to keep holding on to it anyway, but life keeps telling you to let it go. This may ultimately lead to a tower moment if you don't cut this out now, but it won't be for like a bit later down the line. Because I'm not seeing it be completely out of control at this point. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.